as an estate planning attorney, a couple of the most common questions that I get when folks start to think about estate planning for their families and for their land is, one is how do we prepare? And secondly, an equally important point is why is it important and why is it different for a landowner in terms of estate planning? It's important to understand that a typical landowner is not the same as a typical estate planning client or family who may come in to visit my office, for example, and as their main asset, they may have a home and some marketable securities or a retirement account. As you're probably aware, the most popular type of estate plan is one in which you leave all your assets outright to your surviving spouse and then everything in equal shares to your children. And obviously that can cause uh, some significant concerns if the goal is to keep the property together um, through successive generations. Obviously keeping property intact is really important for many folks as their land is their heirloom asset. And so it's important that we figure out maybe that the traditional estate plan of passing assets directly to descendants and equal shares may not be the best fit and most likely isn't. Uh, so with that context in mind and understanding that you have a little bit unique asset, it's important to understand what can go wrong. And I typically tell lots of examples of uh, and stories where folks have just divided assets equally between or among their children. Um, the most common mistake or issue that happens is if children own property in equal shares, uh, the possibility of the property having to be sold, split apart, all those issues start to come into play. And so there are other estate planning techniques that can be used to avoid those issues. It's very important to put together some sort of financial picture of what your assets look like. Uh, that can be done either if you have, if you're working with a financial advisor of some sort, they typically have a outline or a list of your assets that you could get from them. Um, there are also a number of materials that are available today and other places that, that do have lists of assets for you to look through or um, guidelines for you to be able to use to list out your assets. Another piece that's really important is getting this information to your estate planning attorney in advance so that they have the opportunity to review this before your first meeting. Another thing that I strongly suggest is taking the time to detail a little bit of your family history for your estate planning attorney so that when you sit down for that first meeting, your attorney has some idea of what the history of your family is, any special circumstances, as they relate to family members, children, um, who may be intimately involved with your property, who may not be, who may live far away, different financial situations of children, uh, second marriages and stepchildren. So getting that down on paper and getting some of that information in advance of that meeting can be really crucial to make the process go quicker and also make it more efficient from a financial perspective. Another important piece of going through the estate planning process as you um, think about how you're going to plan for your land in the next generation is communication. And although it can be a difficult and sometimes the most difficult step in the process is having open communications, if at all possible, with the next generation. Um, I've often found that during those conversations with family members, uh, the senior generation, the current landowners, find out that what they thought and what they thought their children or the next generation wanted in terms of ownership and working on the property and having that land ownership was a lot different. And so being able to have those discussions now, and uh, they won't happen all at once, but being able to open that dialogue up and starting to have that discussion about how they see themselves and their families uh, in the coming years be a part of the ownership of the property is really important because that can really impact how the senior generation ends up planning and putting their estate plan in place. What happens if you don't have an estate plan? Uh, one of the things that seems to stick well with a lot of folks is that everybody has an estate plan, whether they think they do or not. You either have a plan that you have put in place and that you have been in charge of and been involved with your attorney in putting together, or you have what we call the default plan. 
and the Commonwealth of Virginia has an estate plan for everybody um, who doesn't have a will or other estate plan in place. And so if you were to pass away without an estate plan, your assets are going to go in accordance with state law. And typically that would be to your spouse. Um, and if you have children from a prior marriage, they would receive a portion of your assets. If you're not married, your assets pass then to your next of kin, so your children or grandchildren. And so those are the default rules. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the problems or concerns if you just go by the default rules is that you have this um, much greater uh, chance of the property having to be divided, um, split up, and not stay intact. One of the things about owning land that is important to most folks, and you wouldn't be participating in this workshop if it wasn't the case, is that their land is of the utmost importance to them. And generational planning to keep the land intact and getting it down to the next generation in a thoughtful way is really what the core of the estate plan for a typical uh, land-owning family should be. And so it's with that premise in mind that you want to do some planning, um, whether it be through a typical will or many other types of planning that um, are common with land ownership, including trusts and limited liability companies. It's also important that you understand that you don't have to be an expert when you go in to see your estate planning attorney. You don't have to walk in and say, I think I need or I want a trust or I want a limited liability company. That's not your job. Your job is to um, do your best to convey your information to your attorney in an organized way and to let them know what your goals and hopes are for your property. And if you can start with that premise and go into that first meeting with some of those um, things sort of fleshed out in your mind as, you, as to how you wish your property to be transferred to the next generation, you're well on your way to establishing a great estate plan that can ensure a successful transition of the property intact to the next generation. First of all, certainly reach out to um, fellow landowners, other professionals that you may work with, whether it be investment advisors, insurance folks. Um, it's really important though, as you think about um, working with an estate planning attorney or any other type of advisor, is asking them specifically and making sure that they have experience working with landowners. So as we talked about the different nature of your asset, put you in a, a specific category and you need some expertise. You need an attorney that's familiar with land, understanding how various assets, whether it be timber on the property or other land ownership issues come up. Um, leases, long-term leases with farming is a big issue that comes up. Understanding how conservation easements may play into that planning. And so having an attorney that is experienced in those areas with land ownership would be very important. Um, you can also, if neighbors or anyone don't have any good recommendations for you, you can certainly contact the Virginia State Bar and ask for a specific attorney that has um, experience in that area. If you work with a CPA, there's a good chance that your CPA will have a good relationship with an estate planning attorney that has worked well with other clients. But I would start with the people that you know and trust in terms of your financial advisors um, and if you're comfortable friends or neighbors that are in similar situations who may have had a good experience with an experienced estate planner.